Black Stars of Ghana are taking on the Cranes of Uganda. The game is currently tied in commentary position is myself, uh, Kosifiaka, assisted uh, by Mr. Randy uh, Haji. I mean, so far it's been a very, very cagey encounter between the two uh, teams. And the Black Stars line up this way. They line up in a 4-3-3 formation. Very, very good shape. Uh, what can they do? Are they looking to hit the Black Stars on the counter? Otuado uh, is very, very pensive on the touchline. The Ugandans line up this way. They have a uh, Ikara in post, a uh, uh, Bomono, Stibik, and Mugabe. Uh, not Robert Mugabe, make up the back. 
uh, for Mato, uh, Seminkula, Mutayaba, and Nukwala, who found that goal uh, from the penalty spots, make up that midfield, and Bayo is the sole man in attack. So uh, it is a very fiesta game as we do go along. Uh, the Black Stars uh, seem to be in control of possession. Uh, currently, the stats are favoring them. They currently uh, have a little over 60% of the ball as compared to uh, that 39% that the Ugandan cranes uh, currently uh, do have. Uh, so as we can see, this is another set piece. Uh, this game uh, seems to be one that will be settled on set pieces and uh, uh, it uh, seems a very controversial penalty. And uh, Jordan Ayu takes the ball, places it on the spot. Uh, uh, Randy, Jordan Ayu has been very clinical from the, the penalty spot. Uh, I, I think that that's actually his, uh, one of his strengths yeah. when it comes to uh, playing on the field. Uh, because even in the, uh, I mean, throughout the Black Stars tournament, if you recall, even the AFCON, uh, we had a couple of um, kicks from the spot that he had to um, take as well. I think one, one of his strengths has to do with what he does as far as the set pieces are concerned. But we are playing against Uganda, and definitely the Black Stars should take uh, a lead in this game assistance though. Definitely. So Jordan Ayu stands on the, the, the spot. He helps, he puffs, he moves and he puts it away. Jordan Ayu for the Black Stars. 2-1 to the Black Stars of Ghana. Uh, the Cranes that's how, that's have it how, all to do and that's once how to, again. To, to write uh, your name emphatically when you're playing against more or less like Minos in the game. And of course Ghana shouldn't be uh, at par at all with, with Uganda, looking at the depth of players we have in our in our setup, definitely Ghana should be up in, in too many goals as, as, as it stands now. Coach. Definitely, so there's quality oozing through the Black Stars. And bear in mind uh, that the Ugandan team, led by Paul Pot, uh, lost by four goals to nil against Comoros in their last friendly. So they do have a lot of amends to make in this one. Uh, but currently, 28 minutes played at Stade de Marrakesh and the Black Stars of Ghana. Uh, have their noses in front, 2-1, courtesy, a Jordan Ayu penalty. Uh, so the Ugandans would want to uh, come back from the dead. Uh, they uh, are currently in possession. The ball goes out for a throw-in uh, to the cranes uh, of Uganda. Uh, I'm sure uh, everybody in Kampala will be very glued to this game, uh, hoping for a miracle considering uh, the form of the Black Stars League. The Black Stars on the attack, and there's no matter what can he do? Absolutely nothing. He runs into a brick wall. The ball is in the center of the pitch. Fantastic midfield play. Uh, the ball goes to the right side to Bayo. What is he going to do? Uh, he doubles on it. Uh, he's looking for his man. Doesn't seem to be able to find his man. The Black Stars are keeping their shape very well. Are they going to be penetrable? Uh, cross from the right side. A uh, fantastic chance in the box. He shoots. And oh my God, he shoots wide. Uh, that was uh, that, quite that's wide. A poor, a poor yeah. finishing. I mean, yeah, he could have done better. Definitely, if definitely. We were able to control the ball. Took out two or three defenders mm. standing right behind you. I mean, it's just about placing the ball. Uh, why would he even go for power when you're already in the 18-yard box? Placement would have been far better than what he did anyway. Definitely, Mutiaba couldn't uh, you make use of that chance. Uh, he put that very, very well wide. The Black Stars are building up from the back uh, once again. Um, from the right side to the middle, Edmond Addo with that ball uh, to Jerome Opoku with a goal, the first goal scorer for the Black Stars. Uh, they plod it among themselves. What is Jerome going to do? Stepping out of the defense. Abdul Salih Samed, the man who is playing uh, the register role tonight at the center of the Ghana mid midfield, uh, takes it back again to Edmond Addo. Is he going to go long? No, he doesn't. He goes to the right uh, side of the pitch. Mohamed Abu, uh, who has been very pivotal in this midfield. Uh, the man they call the professor gives it back to Mohamed Abu. The Black Stars currently are controlling possession against the cranes of Uganda. He goes long uh, looking for Abdul uh, Salih Samed. He finds him uh, somewhat somehow fortuitously and uh, that ball goes back. Uh, the Black Stars are looking to build something but the cranes of Uganda are very very resolute and uh, they look to be keeping their shape. Paul Put uh, must have done an amazing tactical job with the Ugandan national team. Uh, Edmond Addo with the ball, uh, who does he find? Uh, he takes it back to his defensive partner uh, in Jerome, um, who, Opoku, who found that goal for the Black Stars. Jojo Walakot uh, looks long. Who will he, who will he find? Uh, well, all he can find is uh, uh, the throw in for the Black Stars. I mean, looking at this Moroccan setup, uh, 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 Randy, uh, do you think they have what it takes to come back, uh, especially uh, since they are playing well? Abdul Fatai Shaku on the right side. Who is he going to find? Is he going to cross it in? He does, but he finds absolutely nobody. But he's just Nobody's in the box. No, no, you have three players in the 18-yard mm. box. Mm. What else do, do you have to float that ball far off the, the, the main target? You have three people in the 18-yard box. I mean, just shift the ball to them. 
So you should have been there, more there was measured. too much power on the ball. Yes, you should have just measured them. I mean, there was too much power on the ball. If you could have a replay of it, you realize that there was too much power on the ball when he floated it. I mean. So Abdul Fatah Shaku should have done better. A lot of people have said, listen, he's growing as a football player. Uh, he's play, he plays for Leicester City this season. He's having an absolutely a storming season for the Foxes in England. And so the ball is still with the Ghanaian continue. And they seem uh, to be having a lion's share of the possession. Enes Nyama with the ball. He passes that one. Uh, he passes that one into the box. Who's, who's going to go? Jordan Ayu, who's playing in the hole, can't do anything with it. Uh, back to the man they call the Professor Dennis Odoi. He's trying to recycle possession for the Black Stars of Ghana. He takes it back all the way. Uh, Mohamed Abu gives that ball. Uh, to Edmond Dado. Edmond Dambo, Jerome Mopoku goes long. He's looking for the lone man in front. He finds Antoine Semenyo who uh, cannot control that ball. He gives it away to the Ugandans who eventually uh, win a free kick in their own half. A chance uh, for them to get a breather because the Black Stars have been absolutely all over them, Randy. The last five minutes has been quite intense. Um, the pressure from the Black Stars being piled on the Akrins of Uganda looks quite uh, hard and tough uh, for the defenders to work hard or extra hard in defending but I feel that the Black Stars are taking too much uh, ch chances they are actually wasting too much chances they should be punishing the, the, the Ugandans as it stands now because they seem to create more chances the last touches in the last state becomes a major problem with them if they can just correct all of that because mind you a lot of people are having their eyes glued on this particular game it makes a lot it means a lot to a uh, from the corner spots the Ugandans uh, they uh, drew parity with a penalty uh, right before Jordan Ayu uh, replicated that feat and also went out there and put Ghana ahead. Uh, Randy, people will say, listen, this is a rebuilding phase for the Black Stars. Uh, but then again, in a, even in a rebuilding phase, you want to see certain glimpses. Are you seeing those glimpses? Well, because you, I, I think that we just have to keep it cool as it stands now. No, no much pressure. Because I have the notion that if you're going to build a team, you need time to build a team. But do we all have that time for Otto Adu and then the Black Stars set up to rebuild this particular team? Because, I, I mean, people are so eager for this team to win trophies. I am yet to actually see something big from this particular setup. Yeah. There is no much difference, honestly. Yeah, we've seen a big boot forward from Uganda, uh, but that was a very poor miscontrol uh, well, from the team. The defense, communication. Yeah, what, was that? what was that? Definitely. The Ghanaian team defense seems to be in sixes and sevens at the back. Uh, prodding the ball are, are among each other uh, without any trajectory whatsoever. Uh, would the Ugandans take advantage of this? They're taking the ball again. Uh, they are piecing a few passes together on the right. Uh, Bayo, Bayo can't uh, advance with it. He wins a throwing uh, for the Cranes. So Six, one, two, three, four, five, six red and uh, white shirts in the 18 yard box. Just count if, them. Even at the board, even at the time, the, the, cro the crossword, the crossword, just two Ugandan players. No, just count the numbers. Yeah, I mean, How just two Ugandan players. Two Ugandan players. And who in the came to the rescue of, of Wallacott after saving no, that first I think goal. After Wallacott saved, it was already saved, and I think it, it was too late. late. Very, very late. late. Yeah. And that's something that if you count the number of white shirts in the yeah. 18 yard box, and I've been, do about, I've been talking about this defense right from the very beginning of the game. I mean, just starting from, scored, starting from that clearance. I mean, yeah. clearly the Black Stars. It seem to be very tactically inept at this point. No tactical so this is it. whatsoever. After Jojo saved this, who was there to support? I no, think buddy, Jerome, Jerome too was, it was late. Very late. He was just more of like jogging. He was caught ball watching. Yeah, more of like he was just jogging, which is not good. So the, so the Black Stars have paid for it. Uh, do they have what it takes to come back? Uh, Andre, did they are you chases that? Uh, but then the Ugandans seem more hungry. The cranes have sparked to life. They have sparked to life. They, they can smell blood with the Black Stars. They've seen that, listen, if we go out there and uh, give our all, uh, we definitely will be able to beat this hapless, toothless, relentlessless Ghana team. Uh, so, Abdul Salim Samir, the Black Stars seem to be playing with some form of urgency now, moving the ball from left to right. Tyreek Lamte, Ali Duseidu, what can he do? He turns around in the middle of the park, he looks forward. It's a long boot forward, but no, the cranes of Uganda clear the ball. They are showing their listing. They are cranes with long necks. That's they true. dig deep. They've dug deep. And this is their reward. It's, it's been coming. The second half has been very bad for exactly the Black Stars. It's true. We didn't That's really true. make any amendments. We didn't push any ball forward. I, 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 I think the only positive thing that you can talk about for the Black Stars in the second half is that cross from Terry uh, Lamptey. And that has been, I think. So the, the Black Stars are making it, forcing them on quarter, but no, I mean, that is an atrocious pass, uh, to say the least. It looked 
very much like he passed that ball with his eyes closed. He looked very much like that. Uh, but then again, that is another uh, back pass from the Black Stars. And you can see how relentless the cranes have become, pressing the Black Stars in droves. Are they going to win the ball back? Ali Dusebi uh, has given the ball away. As the, the Ugandans can smell blood at this point. Uh, they can smell uh, the fragility of the Black Stars. It's looking like any time Ghana is playing and we don't score from a spot kick, we struggle to create our own chances to, 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 to score. And I think that is it is something that Otuari really need to work on, on on it. You need to work on the psyche of these players that listen, you can't only win games through penalties. You need to I mean every good team, you look at the Barcelona's, the, the Real Madrid, the Manchester Cities, the the Arsenal's, they work their way out to, to the score. We, we have a we have a, 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 a set piece uh, which uh, was won out of nothing. Uh, and I mean, that goal in the you gave it away. Yeah, in the yeah, so Mohamed Shaban, the goal scorer. Again, would the Black Stars be able to clear their lines? No, it is a corner kick. Yeah. It is a corner kick. Because you do remember, no, I, did yeah. you recall I told, I, I mentioned that we have 15 minutes to end the game. Yeah. And if history should give us some form of guide, in the last three or so games concede. we have played, yeah. we considered in the last part of the game, four minutes, two minutes, six minutes to end of proceedings. And here we are. <laughs> we were in a comfortable It's something on We couldn't solidify just the yeah. lead. We couldn't hold on till yeah. the last breath of the game. Yeah. Now we're yeah. under pressure, intense pressure. We've barely four minutes to end. We've added on time. Sure. What will come out of this? The guys have scored from uh, this sort of cross. Yeah. And it, it looks quite dangerous. Yeah. So the Black Stars in 60s and 70s again, as that set piece comes in, the Ugandans are, are creating their chances. Is it going to end up at the back of the net? That was another close shave for the Black Stars. Uh, the Ugandans can smell the blood. They can feel the fragility in the Ghana national team. And they are doing everything, going every length to ensure that they exploit that fragility. Uh, Mohamed Salisu, ever since he's come on, uh, has struggled. Uh, Abdul Salis Ahmed in the middle of the park. Uh, a lot of people are arguing that on social media that there's no creative spark within the team. Yeah, that's true. There's not a player who can pick out. No, the only player that way he can do that is Cruz, and he's not there. And I think that this time around, oh, that's what I'm saying. That Otuado really need to work his way out to get these, these some of these things done in the absence of some of his key players. Yeah, some of the players are in there. I was going to make a point. I mean, I think that's why I, I keep on. I have this opinion about Andrea. You don't. We don't need Andrea in such games. We've seen Andrea and what he can do for this black. Us. At this point, just allow those players to play. You bring him on, perhaps his first touch yeah, leads yeah, to something yeah, else. Yeah, you're gonna win then, another, another uh, set piece in a dangerous uh, position. And uh, the Black Stars kind. Uh, there seems to have been a total capitulation. Oh, this is what they play. Well, uh, wow, some of the messages we can't read. <laughs> um, Kets uh, United clad in national colors, player agency. Wow, wow, we have more messages on our console. Uh, have you guys ever seen star that is black before? <laughs> they are asking us, <laughs> have you seen a star that is black before? Uh, there are a lot of messages coming through. I'd like to say a very uh, good afternoon to Mr. Uh, this is very important. It is now or never. It is going to be a long one from Tariq Glamte. It is a header in, but no, uh, just like this game uh, has followed the script. It's been a very atrocious uh, attacking rhythm from the Black Stars of Ghana. And there, ladies and gentlemen, goes the final whistle. The game ends at the start de Marrakesh and Otoado's charges uh, were unable uh, to get one against the cranes of Morocco. It ends 2-2 uh, at the start post coming uh, from Jordan Ayu for the Black Stars and 
uh, Jerome Okoku as well. And for the Ugandans, Mohamed Shaban and Steve Mukwala made sure that they drew parity. I think there's a confusion between I mean Ali Dusseda and the match official. I think something happened uh, before the free kick was taken by um, um, Tariq Lamte. So you could see if you if you watch the game carefully, Ali Dusseda was not on the pitch at that time. He was asked to stay. I mean, out, out, out of, of the pitch, it was when after the free kick was taken. Then he, so I think that Otuado is there talking to the match officials, Ali Dusseda. But I think I could see it has been a good game. Uh, very, very, very. I mean, before, before you mm. continue, I mean, we're having a lot of reactions, mm. And, mm. and people would like more reactions, right? Sure, sure. Uh, so sure. tonight at 7 p.m. exactly, the team will be here. Uh, Lukman is pumped up and heated. Sami is heated. Uh, all of you should be heated as well, because tonight we are going in deep. So stay where you are tonight, 7 p.m. on the RN.